Welcome back, episode 23 of the full game walkthrough. Today we're going to be doing our level 38 spell quest for ice, as well as starting the uh, next area of Mushu. Last episode we defeated the Plague Oni and finished off that area of Mushu. So let's talk to Lydia. Grey Rose. So I see you are ready for your next spell quest. Let me see what is the next spell you need. Ah, <gasps> Ice Blade. You will need a dangerous reagent for this. Thankfully, we are finally getting our Ice Blade spell. You must travel to Mushu and find the Mushroom of Confusion. Seek Suli, and I'm sure she can direct you to them. Good luck. It's gonna help us out so much. Greetings, O oh traveler from the city of wizards. You say that you are looking for mushrooms. We have many types here in Mushu. Oh, the mushroom of confusion. I have heard of such a thing, but alas, I am without knowledge. You must see Kamura Kauru in the market. Try the boot and ring shop. Even more mushrooms. You have traveled from the city of wizards? I am honored to meet you. You quest for the mushroom of confusion for your magic? Beware their dangers. Seek Udo Inoki's hut in Crimson Fields, for he grows them in the fertile soil there. But do not expect to take them without a fight, for he covets them. Are we going back to that dungeon? Seems like we gotta go back to that dungeon. Twenty six hundred health now. I think we can just go straight to him. I don't remember if there was a defeat or not. Should be able to get straight to him though. Oh, he just spawns out You'll here. You come here seeking mushrooms? My mushrooms? Ha! Huh. We will decide your fate on the field of honor, mushroom thief. Only a thousand. They can scare me all they want as long as they don't feel like w putting a weakness on me. I'm good. Oh, 
We'll just double wand. Well, actually, this we do have a blade. We're actually killed. Nice. You pick up the dangerous looking mushrooms. Let's talk to Grey Rose again. I wonder if it was really just that quick. Glad to see you found the mushrooms. Not everyone does. Or at least not everyone returns with them. Now that you have the mushrooms, you will need to remove the poison in them. For that, the mushrooms will need to be balanced. Go to Crocotopia and visit with Niles the Balance Tree. Ask for one of his leaves, then find out where to unpoison the mushrooms. Back to Crocotopia, first time in a while. What's up, Niles? What you got for me? Oh, Lady of Grey Rose sent you. Not many ice students come out here, you know. I'm glad you're here, though, young wizard. You say you need a leaf from me. Hmm. I'm sure I can spare one so that you may unpoison your mushrooms. But where is the best place to perform that? Try the Well of Spirits. The leaf and power of the well will draw the poison from what you ask. I was gonna wait about a minute for this to actually pop up. There we go. The power of the well draws the toxic poisons from the mushrooms. Now we just gotta speak to Grey Rose again. You have removed the toxic poisons from the mushrooms? Excellent! I wish I knew the best place to call the ice elemental. But you will have to talk to Kelvin outside. So, you need to summon an ice elemental in order to complete your spell quest. Hmm. Let me test the winds. Yes, go to Colossus Boulevard, in front of the Gobbler King's castle, to Hildreth's Perch. There, you will meet your ice elemental and receive your spell. I think I'm starting to notice a pattern that all of our spells we're going to have to go to Colossus Boulevard just to get. At least so far, that's been the case. You feel the north wind turn cold. Student of ice, it is good of you to brave the elements and seek me out. 
I find favor in your devotion to the school and grant you the spell you seek. As you hold up the reagents in your hand, you feel them begin to freeze, changing into a new ice reagent. <laughs> Gotta talk to Grey Rose again. We can finally get our ice blade. This is a moment I've been waiting for for so long. Well done! The giants have found favor in you. Yes, they have changed the reagents. Good indeed. The professor takes the reagents and speaks some words under her breath. Congratulations, young wizard! You have taken yet another step in becoming a master thaumaturge! There we go. We finally get our ice blade. Let's go ahead and make some edits to our deck. Instead of having these elemental blades in, we're just gonna have the ice blades. So far, I feel like that's really all that we need. So now we can finally continue our questing in Mushu. of pure water it was a mistake to assume the waters would remain pure while his imperial majesty is ill thank you wizard we have what we need to cure his imperial majesty's mind and spirit but to heal his body we will require fruit from the mystical tree of life just like the oni possessed warlord katsumori and polluted the waters of mushu the death oni has twisted the tree of life even with all my wisdom, I can't prepare you for what you will face. I urge you to speak with Samurai Hideo Kebo, a regarded elder at Yoshihito Temple. He will be able to guide you to the Tree of Life. May the Muda watch over you. Here we go, the Yoshihito Temple, final area of Mushu. One of three. Should also be another oyster here. I believe it's going to be on this back side. Oh, there he is. With that, we only have two more left. The Tree of Life and the Village of Sorrow oysters. Greetings, wizard. You honor me with your presence. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. This temple is all that stands against Oni no Death's evil grip. I have faced the Death Oni many times, but have never defeated it. This time, the Death Oni has fortified itself by the Tree of Life. With a powerful evil spirit, we could cross the cursed river that separates us from him. No evil spirit will go quietly. So we need a legendary spirit cage to control it. I wish there were another way. Believe me. 
I must work to free spirits from the control of the Death Oni. But you can go to the ancient burial grounds and retrieve a cage. I actually completely forgot about this. We do have to go to the ancient burial grounds first, don't we? So I guess we have two more areas before we go to the Tree of Life and complete Mushu. There isn't a oyster in this one though, so we don't have to be looking for that. Greetings, young wizard. Magic shines from within you. You burn like the brightest beacon to these ghostly eyes. You are on a mission, are you not? From my descendant, Hideo Kabo, you seek the spirit cage. Do not wonder how I know. It is puzzling enough what brings me here after my death. The Death Oni has taken control of many in this graveyard. But if you've come to defeat him, I will help. In my time, three brothers possess the spirit cage. Read the inscription on the grave of the eldest and you may discover where to find the cage. You write down the first part of the mantra. The inscription is incomplete. Ah, clever even in death those brothers are. It is but the first part of a clue. The second brother, Orphan, went to the training dojo to meditate. Search the training dojo and you will no doubt find another clue to the spirit cave. probably gonna have to defeat those guys but just in case I'm gonna walk right over here we do all right so since it's not a boss fight I will cut until I'm done with them all right round two KO attacked you're certainly scaring someone we must be on the right track the first two inscriptions make sense together the portal to the spirit world no one living can enter a strong spirit must have stolen the spirit cage and taken it where it had no power but how is it the brothers never told me about the loss there must be more a third inscription a puzzle indeed, but perhaps the youngest brother often battled monsters at the back of this graveyard. Now, Tamauchi lurks there. Defeat him and find... Did you search the graveyard and find no inscription? Please, defeat Tamauchi there and tell me what you find.
first boss of the area. Let's grab this wood chest first. So really what our strategy is, is to be doing just one ice blade and blizzard. The harmony in your heart is about to be disturbed, wizard. That gets rid of at least one of them. So just like this, since we didn't get the one power pip, or we only got the one power pip, we blade and then we blizzard. You know what, we're gonna faint. Since these guys don't use any shields, we should be fine. Now let's use that blizzard. Torch of spirits. Of course, I understand now. You have done your job well, young wizard. I am shamed to admit that it took so long for me to do my part. You have completed the brother's inscription, which is actually a guide for the living to find the spirit cage. You will first need the spirit torch to light the way. That is, you will need it to light the summoning candles that open the portal to the spirit world. In my time, a fire elemental protected the spirit torch from the unworthy. I suspect that nothing has changed. Hopefully since he is going to be fire, he doesn't use any ice shields against us. He could be balanced though, sometimes they are, weirdly enough. Okay, he is Have fire. you come to challenge me, young wizard? I'm just gonna keep doing our usual strat. Ice blade and blizzard. Wow, the first thing that he does is to ice shield. We're gonna we're gonna faint. I feel like they updated the textures on the fire elementals also. Hopefully he doesn't ice shield himself on this one because we're just going to go ahead and blizzard.
Now we should have the torch. Ah, you've come back alive. Ah, I worried I would only see you again as a spirit. Remember the second inscription? When it comes to the spirit world, no one living can enter first. But it says nothing about entering second. I would go first, but I can't seem to leave this spot. I think I have the solution. If you collect dust from a crypt in the burial grounds, you can use it to lead the way into the spirit world. Brilliant, don't you think? You look quite dirty. I meant for you to bring the dust in a pouch, but you wear it well. You have everything you need to open the portal to the spirit world and find the spirit cage. Remember that the cage must be guarded by a powerful spirit. Unfortunately, you won't be able to use the cage to trap it in the spirit world. So you must defeat the spirit once and for all. Ready? Use the three portal summoning candles in the burial mound to open the portal. Once you step through, you can defeat the spirit and bring back the spirit cage. Good luck. the portal rank seven boss they don't call me evil for nothing I will show no mercy So at this point, I'm just trying to kill the boss. I think a faint might be able to do it. I'm just gonna try it anyways. And if not, I always got serpent. I'm just gonna serpent and then I'll wand hit.
his spirit cage drops to the ground. Going the wrong way. You have the spirit cage. You have done well for someone living. I hope the spirit cage helps you defeat Oni Node. I would fight that battle if I could. Ah, life is wasted on the living. Thank you for letting me help you on your journey. My descendant is anxiously awaiting you. Return to Hideo Kebo at the temple and tell him the good news. So now we got the spirit cage and I think we just need the spirit next. Then we could finally cross the bridge and enter the tree, or I think it's the tree of life. Yes, the tree of life. Found the spirit cage. Hideo's mouth drops open as you tell him about his ancestor. This temple must be fighting against the control of Oni No Death. I am honored that my ancestor could help you. The power of this temple alone holds back the power of Oni No Death. So here I should remain. You must be the one to capture the evil spirit. No easy task. Take the spirit cage into the village of sorrow ahead. With your strength of will, you should be able to capture a powerful evil spirit. This is where we get our second to last oyster. Who's there? Have you been here before? Do I know you? Oh, great wizard, I had to leave my family because an evil spirit haunts us. Ken Shui's lower lip trembles and he speaks in a whisper. Please, revered one, could you do away with these undead? They will surely send the evil spirit after us. And here's our second to last oyster right here and since this is going to be a defeat in uh, sorry excuse me it's just going to be a defeat for i will cut when i'm done with that all right i'm back you have done as i asked thank you esteemed wizard i feel much safer i hope that our leader would save us from the evil spirit but i can't find him he is wise and always knows what to do I thought to look for him in the town dojo, but I saw the undead lock the dojo with a spectral key. Can you get the key back from one of them? The Fiend Collect.
We're only able to kill on that sometimes. Come on, come on, come on. We're gonna be fast on this. We actually didn't even get a hit. We're not gonna be able to make it. Wait, he disappeared. I'll take it. And we completed. Where's he at? There he is. You brought the key. Thank you, great one. Ken Shui reaches out for the key, but his hand passes through it. He looks surprised and confused. I'm a spirit? Forgive me, Great One. I did not realize I was not among the living. Even so, this great evil harms all good spirits here. Please find our leader in the town dojo. Even when he was among the living, he knew much about spiritual matters. He can help you stop this evil. That's sad. He didn't even know he was dead. I wonder if we can get a back uh, backstory on that guy, how he died. Ting Yin's body ripples like water until it shimmers and vanishes. A monstrous shape emerges from it. It is the demon Usanaki. You poor pitiful wizard. I am glad you showed up here. I will do you a favor. I shall put you out of your misery. I don't know if we even needed that faint, but I was just trying to get that black mantle off. And now we got our blizzard. That we fizzed instead. We actually drew it too. Barely didn't kill. But he fizzed. Okay, we didn't even take any damage on that. At last I am free. I thank you, Riviat Wizard. I have been trapped here since the evil spirit pulled me from my family. I sense you carry a spirit cage. If you seek to capture the evil spirit, you will need a soul chain to bind it. One of the other good spirits can I help you forge one. Almost gonna level here. Ting Ying spoke of a soul chain? Yes, I am amazed at what I understand now. I see how spectral chains would work. Of all the spirits here, who could help you forge a chain? Why, the blacksmith. Speak with Ji Hong Bi nearby. When she was alive, she could forge anything. Level 39. Almost level 40. Hello, hello. Welcome to Ji Hong Bi's metal shop. I haven't had customers in. Well, it's been a while. I'll be frank with you. I'm a ghost. I'm not sure what I can help you with. But whatever it is, it's free. You want a soul chain. Hmm. 
Never had anyone ask me for one, but lots of things change when you become a spirit. I can't make the chain myself, of course, but I can tell you how to do it. First, you'll need to defeat some walking dead to collect some dark souls. Then come back here. Defeat and collect? I'll be right back. I'm back, 100% collect rate. Yes, yes, you did a great job getting those dark souls. Now put them in the brazier there and forge your chain. You are doing well, young wizard. There's your chain, all done. Okay, maybe I helped with the spiritual bits, but you did the real work. Thanks for stopping by Shi Hong Bee's metal shop. Go on and show Ken Shui what you did. Maybe he'll start to relax a bit. You have the chain. I was holding my breath till you came back. That is, I would have if I had breath to hold. Oh, brave wizard, you have everything you need to capture that evil spirit? You'll find the evil spirit's vile self beyond the outskirts of town. We village spirits are behind you. Here we go. Finally capturing our spirit. you want to be humiliated in battle, by all means, fight me! Just him. 1800 health. We're gonna faint. Maybe one or two blades or a uh, blade in a trap should be able to kill him. If we don't get our power pip next turn, we're going to just use our trap. I'm having faith that this is going to kill. You're joking. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm back. That just kind of appeared out of nowhere, and I didn't even know that we had gotten rid of our invincibility already. Now we just gotta talk to Kin Shui. speak loudly again I don't feel the evil spirit anymore unless you bring that spirit cage too close to me you will now control a powerful spirit and have freed the good spirits of this village now we can watch over our families and troubled souls as you have done please carry that vile spirit away where it can do no more harm like the temple yes take the cage to the guardian there now we're just gonna talk to Hideo Kebo real quick and finish off this episode. Level 39 and a half. Next episode we should be leveling up to level 40. should also be finishing up Mushu.
Ah, I sense you have captured a strong spirit. With its power, you can now cross the Cursed River. The Cursed River prevents anything good from crossing it. No matter how distasteful, we can more easily defeat only no death with an evil spirit. The time has come. Once we cross the river, we will meet only no death himself. Our task is simple, but long in coming. We must defeat only no death and bring back the fruit of life. Meet me at the edge of the broken bridge. This is my dungeon, wizard. No one will take it from me. No, you mustn't cross the waters. I will not help. I can't stop. No! I cannot refuse. I will help you across. Alright, now we're at the Tree of Life. So thanks for watching this episode where we finished up the ancient burial grounds and the village of sorrow next episode we're going to be doing the tree of life finishing up mushu by defeating the jade oni thanks for watching